Good day. This is Michael Bender from the Center for Fiscal Equity, and uh, this is a backgrounder that we attach to um, other testimony about Depression 2022. It originally comes out of um, testimony before House budget uh, from January 2020, just before the pandemic and before the pandemic um, bailed out the bubbles uh, that are mentioned herein. Um, and new bubbles have actually come. Uh, so a depression is inevitable because tax cuts and monetary policy have fueled asset speculation. The current speculative bubble that no one talks about is oil futures in NYMEX. Uh, under Obama, regulations were added to stop balloons in this market. Under Trump, Mick Mulvaney gutted those regs. We now have a big balloon on our hands that is about to pop. It's also why we have inflation right now. So last year's toy was cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin is st starting to attract poor people. Coin collection machines are now being, being paid in crypto rather than st store predator cash, if you so wish. Uh, criminals love it too. It is being sold as a way to invest and grow rich. It even, even has a fancy name for it, quantum finance. Uh, when you get the fancy names, you know we're in trouble. Um, so um, dealer, cl dealer claims that Bitcoin and other cryptos uh, has big rises and smaller crashes simply proves the point that we are dealing with a legal Ponzi scheme. Because when they say that, you know, they're cashing out with, with the other side of their mouth. Uh, when the top of the food chain cashes out and everybody else realizes that they own a worthless product, it's too late. Um, so in, in, in the current bond market, properties that have been seized in foreclosure have been purchased with private equity and are so heavily leveraged that they cannot be sold until the holding company files for bankruptcy in the next recession, which should come soon. Uh, see home records how, how a gang of Wall Street kingpins, hedge fund magnets, crooked banks, and vulture capitalists suckered millions out of their homes and demolished the American dream. That's by Aaron Glantz. Uh, the C-SPAN talk uh, will be in the reference will be in the chat. It's also in the written testimony. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a central reading. Um, the long and the short of it is that many now have to rent or own leveraged properties. Our absentee landlords have cashed out and left others to, 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 to bleed us dry. They essentially own us because we have to work harder and longer to have a place to live while those who have cashed out live in gated and highly and high-end assisted living communities. May I add that some of the people identified by Mr. Glantz are one Mr. Ross and one Mr. Mnuchin of Trump cabinet fame. So um, there was a little self-dealing uh, during the bailout, but it saved America. So, um, you know, till now. Um, in, the, in, in the last year, exchange-traded funds have been all the, all the range. Um, who wants to bet on where the latest pool of junk is hiding? You know, when, they, when an asset class starts to suddenly balloon, you know, and you know it's got something in it. Uh, so tax, tax credit support for families is a better recession circuit breaker than waiting for Congress and state legislatures to act. Although increasing the child tax credit, which should be inflation adjusted, is the best way to provide immediate stimulus. Um, and it did, but it, you know, um, as, do, as do higher food stamps, which could be repealed with a higher child tax credit. Um, the other circuit breaker in a recession is increased income taxes on the wealthy. Recessions do not happen, as Marx and Schumpeter posited, from overproduction or a business cycle. They come because the wealthy have received tax breaks that encourage asset inflation and questionable investment, often with an asset assist from the Federal Reserve so that such investments may be migrated to Wall Street, or to rather to Main Street from Wall Street, to, to our pension funds. Um, Higher income tax rates take money from the savings sector so that the consumption sector can recover, even without government subsidies. Just changing the mix changes everything. So higher taxes on the wealthy are beneficial to the economy now and in the next recession because they take money out of asset inflation in the savings sector and, and can then be used to increase spending on the elements of GDP, which are government spending or purchases, household consumption, net exports, and plant and equipment investment, which, by the way, is not part of the asset speculation that supply-side economists and most of the media assert it is. Um, so, yes. Uh, now, right now, there's a little bit of a, of a 
there, there had been last year a little bit of an adjustment because the, the uh, Build Back Better plan was going to have higher uh, taxes on, on assets by uh, 5% of, 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 uh, of returns, but um, it stalled. So um, the, it's, the, we're really in flux now because people had taken out in, in, in advance of that and now they, the markets are not knowing what they should be doing. And, um, you know, if, if the, the, the best way to, to take out a bubble is to, is to say, there's a tax cut coming. And that people will then say, sell. And it, um, and it takes the bubble out quietly. Uh, but we, ha that we haven't consistently held up with what we're going to do. And that's a problem. So, you know, the solution is, you know, is going to be a solution. It's going to be pain. Thank you much.